International Express, which I pick up every Wednesday. Uh, December 14th, 2022. And one of my favorite parts is the weekly briefing. Knowledge is Power by Kay Harrison. Your questions answered. I've already done one of these for you. Um, after matching two whole numbers on the lottery last Saturday, my wife shouted, Jackpot! Who's Jack? This was first heard in the 19th century coming from a type of poker game, Jacks or Better, where bets couldn't be opened until one player held a pair of Jacks or cards that would beat a pair, beat a pair of tens. If it wasn't for a change of card design, we'd be yelling out, Knave Pot! Early decks in England featured three face cards, King, Knight, and Knave. It was the French who brought in the Queen. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Replacing the Knight. For a couple of centuries, Knave remained the popular name for this card among the upper classes, while commoners called him Jack. The generic term for a young, uh, young lower-class man. In Charles Dickens' 1861 novel Great Expectations, Orphan Pip plays cards with snooty Estella, who is horrified by his coarse hands and says with disdain, he calls the knaves jacks, this boy. But when card makers started to include ranks in the top corner, there was too much confusion with K for king and KN for knight when trying to identify them after fanning out the cards. So J and jacks won out. Don't you feel it just a little bit better knowing that for a fact, or at least according to uh, Kay Harris. Uh, that'll do it for the weekly update this week. I hope to see a bunch of you again next week.